Hello guys, in the last video we just unboxed our 3D printer. Now we'll try out a new print with a new printer. So if you have noticed how I uh, how I unboxed it, you'd have noticed that there was no user manual or guide to start your first print. So I mailed to Fabex and they gave me a user guide and that's what I'm opening right now. And uh, this user guide will tell you how to set up the initial things and how to go ahead with your print. So I'll just zoom in and show you what are the contents over there. Now let me switch over. They send this via mail and uh, it will have these contents over there. It will have uh, two PDF files and a uh, serial uh, communication COM port driver. So you should install it for your printer to work. And the guide will have how to set up your printer. I'll show you anyhow. And it will also have some basic settings information which has to be set in your Cura software. Now those who don't know about Cura, Cura is a software in which you load your STL files and uh, this software converts them into the G code and feeds it to your Fabex directly via serial port and this PDF explains you how to set up your extruder, how to set up your leveling bed and all those things. And this is another PDF which we won't be using that much because Fabex is completely assembled when you get it so you don't need to assemble it. Okay, so in order to download the Cura software, you get into one of these PDF and there will be a link for you. You can get into their own website and uh, download it. Uh, I actually had a problem with the latest version, so I went back to the previous version 14.12.1 and that worked perfect for me. And you just click on it and download it. I have already done it, so you can find both the versions of Cura over here. I am using the older version. The newer version didn't detect my Fabex printer. So let's click it and finish the setup. I'm not doing it because I've already done it. And this is the Cura software. So here we load our STL files and we make some changes over here. And there are a lot of settings in Cura which you have to understand in order to get a perfect print. I'll just show a sample box which they have given. So this box is also given by Fabex people itself. It was sent via mail. You just upload it and you just start your first print. So there are lots of things to do with Cura. So I'll make a separate video on how to use your Cura software. For now, let's skip all those things and assemble the printer. And this is the roller on which you will be mounting the filament. And this is the heat bed. Actually, not the heat bed, yeah, the base plate. Mm, it was wrapped nicely, nice shiny plate. And the good thing about Fabex is it comes with neodymium magnets. The base plate comes with neodymium magnets, as you can see, it's a magnet. So you can just stick it to the printer, and once the printing gets finished, you can remove it and you can easily uh, peel off the printed material. On the back of your printer, there will be a hole with thread inside which you can insert the filaments uh, roller and just tight it up. Yeah. Now we'll unscrew this and mount the filament. This is the filament which I got from Fabex itself. If you have seen my last video of unboxing, you'd have noticed it's the same filament. So just take it off and load it into your printer now the base plate cannot be attached to the printer as it is so you have to make a masking tape over it I'll quickly show you how to make one. So this tape will also be provided by Fabex. You just have to um, paste it on the base plate in a neat way that one layer doesn't overlap the other or it's not too far from the other. So it has to be exactly like a single piece of sheet in order to get a perfect print. So that's it. Our base plate is ready. Now let us measure it. So our printer is a 10 cross 10 cross 10 centimeter cubic centimeter printer and uh, and if you can measure the base plate it's up to 12 centimeters so it means there are some free spaces over which your extruder will not go so but anyway it's safe to mask your entire base plate now it's done let's turn on the printer and as you can see once the printer is powered 
there's no indication light at first then i found out i had a loose connection problem with my adapter that's was disappointing and once it was done i noticed the fabex will not glow but we have another led in the base of a printer which glows and we just connect it to your laptop and that's it you'll get a notification tone saying that your printer got detected and make sure you install the driver so that your cura detects your printer the driver was given in the be given in the fabex folder itself so let's mount our base plate with the help of neodymium magnets and that's it so i'm just trying to print the box foil box file which was shown to you earlier but look at it look at it it doesn't print the reason is our printer is not calibrated yet it has to be calibrated so that the extrude the the PLA coming out of the extruder should stick on to the base plate. I'll show you how to do it in the next video. So stick on and happy printing. Bye bye.